Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I received a few requests from students asking me how to find the interest rate R of compound interest when the matured value, principal, N and T are given. So therefore, in this video, I've included two sample questions which you can take as reference for your revision. So before we hit the questions, let's look at this formula again. So the formula to find matured value is equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of NT, whereby MV stands for the matured value, P is the principal, which is the money that we put in at first, and R is the yearly interest in percentage, and then N is the number of times interest is compounded per year, so if it's compounded monthly means N is equals to 12. If it's quarterly means N equals to 4, and half yearly N equals to 2. And T stands for time in years. Let's look at question number one. Jane invested 1,000 ringgit in a bank at a rate of R in percentage of compound interest annually. The amount that she received after 4 years is 1,125 ringgit and 51 cents. Find the value of R. So here, our P is 1,000, R is we don't know, and then annually means N equals to 1, and then after 4 years means T is 4, and this is the matured value. So find the value of R. So first, we're going to extract all the information from the question and we're going to list it down here. So MV, then P, R, N, and T. So matured value is 1125.51. The principal is 1000. And then the R is, we don't know, we just leave it as R. And then N is equal to 1. And then T is 4 years. So next, we're going to write down the formula. So MV is equal to, so P, 1 plus R over N the whole thing to the power of nt. So the matured value is 1125.51 and then the principal is 1000 and then bracket 1 plus r over so n is 1 and then 1 and then t is 4. Okay, so after that we're going to move the 1000 over to the left. So since 1000 is times with the bracket, so when I move the 1000 to the left, it becomes divided by 1000. So 1125.51 divided by 1000 and then, you see this power, power 4, when I move it to the left hand side, it becomes root 4 or the whole thing to the power of 1 over 4. So it equals to 1 plus r. So now we take out the calculator and then we calculate the bracket first, 1125.51 and then divide it by 1000 equals, okay, after that we power 1 over 4, 1 over 4, okay, then equals. So you get 1.03. So 1.03 is equal to 1 plus R. So to find R, okay, we use 1.03 minus 1 and then we get 0 0.03. So R, okay, is 0 0.03 but they say in percentage, therefore R is equal to 3%. And this is the answer. Let's look at question number 2. The matured value for 3,000 ringgit savings for 2 years with the interest rate X percent per annum compounded half yearly is 3,247 ringgit and 30 cents. So find the value of X. So here the information given to you is P, which is 3,000, the principal. And then 2 years means T is 2. Interest rate we don't know. Okay, I leave it as R first. Yeah. And then compounded half yearly, which means that N is equal to 2. And then this is the matured value given. So next, we're going to list down, okay, our M, V, P, R, N, and T. So mature value given is 3247.30. And then our principal is 3000. And then the R is, we don't know, I just leave it first. So N is equal to 2. And then time is 2 years. And next, we're going to write down the formula of M, V, which is equal to P, bracket 1 plus r over n whole thing to the power of nt so the mature value is 3247.30 equals to the principal is 3000 and then bracket 1 plus so r over 2 and then this is 2 times 2 so the next step is i'm going to move the 3000 over to the left hand side so it becomes divide so 3247.30 divided by 3000 okay and then the whole thing so this 4 this is power 4 so when I shift over to the left hand side it becomes 1 over 4 so equals to 1 plus r over 2 okay now we take out the calculator and then we start to calculate 
So 3, 2, 4, 7, point 3 divided by 3000. So equals, and then this one, we power 1 over 4. Okay, so equals, so we get 1.02. So 1.02 equals to 1 plus r over 2. Next is we shift the 1 over becomes minus. So 1.02 minus 1 equals to r over 2. So this is 1.02 minus 1 is 0 0.02 equals to r over 2. So to find r, we shift the 2 over become 0 0.02 times 2 is 0 0.04. Okay, and then they want us to find the value of x. So for this one, okay, so r means, so 0 0.04, it means that 4 over 100. Okay, so it means that it's 4%. Okay, so if they want x, so x is 4. So that is the answer. Well, that's all for now. Let me know in the comments below if you have any difficult topics that you would like me to discuss in my next video. I'll be very glad to help you. So if you think this video is useful, I would appreciate a like from you because it means so much to me. Till then, happy learning! Bye!